a switch. So I'm going to clone the front end application and start it. So we can go to the GitHub Smart Home front end. The link is also available in the details in this video. And then we can follow the instructions here on how to install it. Basically, here is the instructions on how to install the front end in this setup sample service, set up the web portal. So let's do it. Just remember that you need to have NPM and Node.js installed in your computer. Here, just NPM install, I had to do a Firebase login that will show you this URL that you need to click and login with your Google account that we are using. And then you need to, to add this new project in the Firebase here in the command line. Then I add the project Smart Device Selector Phone. Then next command is npm run create firebase config and then npm run serve. Okay, now we can click on this URL. We need to do a small update here in the Firestore. In the database rules, we need to change this because for some reason it does not allow that, that front end works. Okay, just publish. So let's start again. Let's try to create our first device, a switch. Yes, great. We have succeeded in creating our new device. It should also be reflected here in the database. As we can see here, we have devices now created and our first device here created. One thing that I report already is when the front end creates the data module, it forgot to add one field that the back end complains. This field is error code. For a while, you need to to include this field manually for every device that you create or you need to to go to the back end and remove the check that the system does in this error code but i prefer to add this manually because this will be important in the in the future the error code is successfully created here with an empty string So now we have everything ready to test our device in, in IoT, in SP8266. So let's do it. Before we start playing with IoT SP8266, let's connect our Google Home with the new service again to check if the device appears in the in the Google Home. Going back to my Google Home app, let's link the service again. At the bottom, works with Google. And then let's try to connect again our Electrofun smart device service. Link the service to Google. Yes, great. Now we have our smart suite added on Google Home app. This is everything that we need to start the uh, implementation in our ASP8266. We can also check how the smart suite works 
looks like the touch control let's now go to the implementation in ESP8266 so here is the Arduino code for ESP8266 I'm using Wemos what we needed to update in this code is the credentials the MQTT credentials and also of course your Wi-Fi credentials and then you need to update the the device ID that you are using there is two places here the code could be improved to have just one place but it, this two places you need to update with your own ID that's automatically generated so after that you you can upload your code and you can start to send comments from your mobile phone in the touch control device or you can also call the assistant to, to switch on and off your switch device here I'm using the LED built-in to see we can also trigger our, our pin uh, relay pin and control whatever you want yeah what is missing here is how we update our backend with the information read for instance from a temperature sensor how we update this in our backend then this I'm going to show in the next video but I can tell in advance that we are going to use a REST POST request towards our endpoints to, to update the values